The Workbench Editor Navigation Scope setting lets you control the behavior of VS Code's Go Back and Go Forward commands for navigating through editor history. Now to understand the setting, let's first look at VS Code's default behavior. So let's say I was editing a few files here, so I'll kind of click around in a few files, go over in this file as well, go over to a second editor group, and also click around over here. And now let's say that I want to navigate back to one of those previous locations I was editing or viewing. I can use the go back command for that. So I'll open up the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and say go back. And when I run this, you can see it's going to jump to the previous edit locations. I'm going to use the key binding for that, which is bound to control minus by default. And now I've jumped to the previous locations in that file. Now I've jumped to the previous edit location I was viewing in the file over here. And I can just navigate through all those points I was clicking through before getting back to the original location. Now with the Workbench Editor Navigation Scope setting though, I can limit the navigation to happen within a single editor group or within a single editor itself. To change this, I'm going to open up my settings using Control comma or Command comma on Mac and search for Navigation Scope. And I want the Workbench Editor Navigation Scope setting. Again, the default is um, that it's going to navigate through all of the open editor groups and editors that you have open. If we want to limit the navigation to the current editor group though, I can change this to Editor Group. So I'll go over here. Let's go click around in a few files. So I'll click around in Lifecycle, and then go over to the file over here in the second editor group, and even over in Main Process, which is another editor in that second editor group. And now I'm going to start running Go Back. So I'll say the first Go Back, as expected, it jumps to the refactor file, which I had opened before. But now when I run Go Back again, notice how it's not going to jump further back to the uh, second editor group or the, to the first editor group that I have open over here. Again, that is because navigation is now limited to this single editor group. Now the third value for this setting is that you can actually set it to be lim or limit navigation to the current editor. So if I set workbench editor navigation group to editor here, now navigation is only going to happen within the current editor. So I'm going to go over here in this file, I'll jump around a little bit and then I'll go over to the refactor file, jump around and place my cursor in a few spots. And now when I run go back, so again with control minus here, I'll jump to that first location in the file. And then when I try running go back again at this stage, notice how it's not going to continue trying to jump back to, to the other file that I had navigated to before. I find that one reason you might want to change the Workbench Editor Navigation Scope is that it makes it more predictable what VS Code is going to do when you say go back or go forward.